Hello Cancer viewers, today I'm going to be looking into your situation. So let's see what's going on with your love life. This could involve an ex, a current partner, somebody new coming in. So let's see what's going on. Alright, so for the Cancers that are watching this video, what do I need to know about your love life right now? Lust, rigid, high priestess of air, honesty. So what I'm getting from this is that there was a situation that you were in recently or in the not, not too distant past, and it was basically just lust. Like it wasn't, it was either on their side or yours or both. It could have just been mutual. Like there was a strong physical attraction there. But, you know, when you really were honest with yourself, you realize that there wasn't a very strong emotional or mental connection there. It was mostly just a physical attraction, maybe um, subconscious patterns, um, you know, like familiar patterns, just dating somebody that's like your type, I guess you could say but it's not what you really want on a soul level. Um, I think it was more loneliness than anything. It's like you have this feeling that there's more out there than this. You might have even been with this person for months or years, and you're just now starting to really be honest with yourself and recognizing that there's... Um, a lack of emotional depth in this connection. There's a lack of um, there's just something missing from this from this relationship. So I don't know if you fully left it or not, or maybe you just recently left it, and you're just now having these realizations. Um, but it's that's the current energy that you I feel like you're, that you're in. You're you're realizing that you're realizing that that connection was more familiar and convenient or it was more based off lust and attraction and, you know, subconscious patterns and these familiar patterns that you repeat with people. But there was like a lack of, of romance and vulnerability and emotion and, and passion and, you know, um, appreciation and affection and like cuddling love uh closeness just all that all of that i just feel that energy from whatever this connection is it's like all that energy is just kind of missing from it you know it's just like there's just something missing and i think that you're realizing it you're realizing it's it's rigid you're realizing that there's blocks here you're, you realized um you know it's not fully what you want and i think with with the air here I feel like this could be an air sign, but it could also, air is also about communication. And with honesty here, that makes a lot of sense. It's kind of like you're being honest with yourself, maybe even being honest with each other. Um, that there's just something missing from this connection. But it's kind of like, and I felt when I, it's really interesting because when I, right before I even pulled cards for cancer, I felt new love coming in. So I really actually strongly felt like I was going to get a past energy and then get a um, present slash future energy. So it makes sense that I would get these cards. It's really actually pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so not to get too much into that, but basically, yeah, you're just, you're being more honest with yourself. You're realizing that this, this connection ultimately is not the person you want to marry. It's not the person that you can cry in front of. It's not the person that um, is, it's not your person, you know what I mean? It's not your everything. It's not the person that you can be vulnerable and be your true self with. There is just, there's that rigidness. There's just that um, that lack of emotional depth that I think that you, you've been looking for and longing for for so long. Um, and yeah, you're being honest with yourself about about that. I don't know if it's just like a metaphor or if it's actually a memory, but it's almost like I see you guys like, I see you like trying to hold your person's hands and it's like they don't want to hold hands or like they don't want to like show physical affection. 
especially in public it's like they're very they're very guarded and you're kind of just tired of that energy you're tired of not not getting what you need from that connection so yeah it's really interesting let me um but you already know all that you know i don't want to tell you guys things that you already know I'm, i think that you're if you you are being honest with yourself now so i think that Maybe you haven't fully accepted it, but I think that you are more aware of it now. You are becoming more and more conscious of it. So the key here is just keep being honest with yourself and keep being honest with everybody um, about how you feel, what you want. You know what I mean? Like don't let people convince you that you're just too affectionate or too loving or too needy or too this or too that. Like don't let this energy, because this person is very like kind of cold, kind of emotionally unavailable. It's like they want like an average relationship. They want an average connection and you don't really want average. You want more depth and more emotion and vulnerability than what you're getting. So it's really important that you are, you know, that you continue to be honest with yourself and you don't let this person convince you that you're just asking for too much or you're just too needy or you're wanting too much. You need to be honest um, and, and put your, you know, put your soul first, put, put who you are and what you want first and don't let anyone talk you out of your feelings. And again, this is like, this could be current energy that I just picked up, but it could also be past energy. This might be somebody that you just, that re recently, you know, not too long ago ended things with you or you ended things with them or it's kind of going in that direction where things are just kind of shifting away from them a little bit. Um, Let's look into, because I do, I just feel new love. I don't know why I feel that so strongly. I just feel like new energy here. And yeah, there's, we have, I'm about to shuffle and we have risk and confidence. So it's like, take a chance on new love. Take a chance on who you are and what you want. Um, let's see what we have here. All right. So for the cancer viewers, what is going on with your love life? Well, let's let's look at let's look at the new person, okay? Because there's like a new energy that's either about to come in, like it might you might be picking up on this person telepathically, like you kind of feel that new love is just around the corner, and it is. I feel for most of you, um, or for the those that are drawn to this video and resonating with it, then yes, I do feel like new love is just around the corner for you, um, or it could all already be here. This could be somebody you're already talking to. Just depends on how it resonates for you. But yeah, let's see. Let's show me this new person. Show me this new person. Again, I think you're. I think you're becoming. Yeah, I was just gonna say you're becoming more confident, and the confidence card pulled, popped up. You're becoming more confident. You're becoming more true to yourself. You're not. You're really focusing. I feel like almost like you have this sense like you're getting older. You need to figure things out. And you're, you're, it's, it's good, though. It's good because it's kind of pushing you. You're like, you know what? I don't want to like, I don't want to feel alone anymore. I don't want to be with the wrong people. I don't want to have the wrong friends. Like, I want these deep emotional connections. Um, and you're, you're not listening to the people that tell you that you're needing too much or people that don't understand you. You're just kind of staying true to yourself. You're finding yourself again, and you're staying true to yourself more and more. So we have the confidence card, the fledgling, which is a new start. We have summon. See, yeah, you're summoning new love to you. You're drawing. You're like a magnet for new love right now, the warrior. Ooh, that's good. High priestess of earth. Success. Okay, this is all really good. Message. Okay, so this is, yeah, it's a good reading. I feel like this energy you're drawing in is like somebody that's kind of, they're very strong, even if they don't show it. They have a warrior spirit. It might not come out all the time, but they do. Um, and they're very earthy. I feel like this is somebody who's like free spirited and they're connected to nature. Um, it's weird because usually when I see, th when I see this card, usually I think like somebody who's like stable and grounded. And for some reason I'm drawn to think, no, they might not be actually, but they're, they're, um, they're earthy. I don't know why that's just such like, I don't know why that's in my head so much. It's like, they're just, they're earthy. They're, um, they're free spirited. They're, they're very connected to nature. They're very wise. They're an old soul. Um, they're very, they might be very passionate and stubborn too. Cause I feel like this is really, cause I feel like with the warrior, it's kind of telling me it's like, it's, it's earthy energy, but not in the, the typical sense. It's, it's a little bit different than that. But, but yeah, this is somebody who's passionate and stubborn and um, opinionated, I think. 
But I think that you need that too. So I think that person is more your match. You know, and it's 222 as I write, as I'm saying this. So that's that's a good sign. If you're seeing the numbers, the synchronicity, it's a sign that you are on the right path, even if it doesn't always make sense to you. So I think what the reading is telling me really is that, you know, you being confident and and true to yourself and you know, putting your own passions and desires first, putting your, you know, figuring out your beliefs and, and putting those beliefs first and your ideals first and being the romantic that you really are, maybe society or your family or friends or your life experiences have kind of taken you off that path of, you know, made you not want to be a romantic, made you not want to open up to people. They've, it's, it's made it hard for you to really be yourself with anybody, but you're, you're developing genuine confidence finally, where you're like, you know what? No, I am this person. I do need these deep emotional connections. I am a romantic. I am idealistic. I am passionate. I am stubborn. I am all these things, you know, and I'm going to stay true to myself, even if it doesn't make sense to society or to my friends, to my family, to my you know, exes, current partner, whoever, you're, you're like, no, I'm, I'm going to be true to myself. I'm going to find myself and I'm going to stick to that and I'm not going to let anyone take that from me again. And with the fledgling, you have a new start here and you're summoning with this energy, this, this new confidence and this honesty and this passion that you have, you're summoning your person, you're summoning your, your ideal match. You know, you're summoning this person with a warrior spirit. It could be male or female. I know I mostly have female viewers, but you know, it, it's it's whoever. I know I've I've um I've had some men comment over the last few weeks, so I know that I am starting to get male viewers too. So it's really however it resonates with you. This could be male or female. It's whatever your story is. But you know, you're with this passion, this confidence, and this this you know, just being true to yourself, you're, you're summoning your person, you're summoning your warrior spirit, you're summoning your, um, I don't know why I wanted to say Viking princess. <laughs> I don't think that's actually a thing. I was going to say Valkyrie. And then I was like, no, Viking princess. I don't fucking know what that means. But, um, I think Valkyrie would be <laughs> more the accurate term. Um, but yeah, you're just, you're summoning your person and you have success here with this. You have um, a more balanced relationship. You have a more ideal match with this person. It's interesting that we have success and message because I kind of feel like it's saying that if you want to reach out and communicate or take the first step and send, send a message, um, if this is somebody that you haven't been in contact with in a while, well, I think it's new love. So I think that you guys probably would be in contact or you would be like, on the verge of being in contact with each other. Like maybe you guys haven't talked yet, but you're like about to start talking. Um, Cause it's like a very new energy. So, I mean, I guess it could be, it could for some of you be an ex that's changed a lot, but for the most part, I don't get past energy. So I would think that this would probably be someone new unless your ex did like a complete 180 and they're just like a completely different person and they came back around, then it's possible this new love is them. But for most of you, I think this is actually a new person. Um, yeah, it's saying that, you know, if you message and you put yourself out there, it, it is going to be successful. Your message will be heard. Um, yeah. I just made an oracle deck that I want to pull from too because it says a lot about what's going on on a deeper level, like on a telepathic level. So let's see what those cards say as well. My advice would be, you know, just keep being honest. Like I said, there's just such a strong emphasis on honesty and open communication and just being true to yourself and going against what other people think about it. You know, like you're really, you just want to stay true to who you are right now. It's a really important time for that. And you have to, you know, keep in mind it is manifesting what you want like like that energy that you have right now is manifesting this new love so keep that up all right let's see all right so for cancer viewers what else can you tell me about this love what else can you tell me about that what else do i need to know about this situation
spiritual aid dragon spirit which could actually represent you know spirit guides but it, it also represents um what we we're talking about strength courage passion staying true to yourself um this is also it says it's it's interesting because it's about protection magic but it's also choosing love and passion over fear you know again you're choosing yourself you're choosing to be the romantic you are you're choosing to be the person you are no matter who if you know regardless you, you know you might be losing people you may be losing you know old friends even cutting out family members but you're you're choosing yourself so it's really beautiful just keep that up you know people will probably tell you like why have you changed why are you doing this why are you they'll try to get you to be small again they'll try to get you to go back to where you were before and you're like no i i know who i am now and i'm not ever going to lose that again so keep that energy up you know it's a sacred gift here you have divine love and support and guidance. So if you want to just like meditate and just connect with your guides when you feel alone, it really, it helps for sure. Um, time to rest. The moon. See, yeah, the moon brought this new love in for you, I think, for a lot of you. Or brought this new um, spiritual awakening in for, for a lot of you guys. Okay, so it's a pretty good reading overall. So I'm going to pull some more cards to get some more of these cards to get on love because I think this was trying to give me a message for your path specifically and not so much about love. But I do want to look into love a little bit further for you too. So if you're using stones and crystals or if you, you know, are into that at all, that's it's a good time for that. You do need spiritual aids right now. Um, and again, with the dragon spirit, this is just courage. This is protection. You're, you're guided. You're being divinely guided right now. Um, to choose love, to choose passion, to choose your idealism over fear and, and let go of all the people and situations and things that are holding you back from being your true, raw, and apologetic self. And I think you do have past life memories coming up. You might not be fully conscious of it, but it's like you're awakening to your power. It's like you're awakening to who you are. Um, you're finding your soul group. You're finding these people. You might be like starting to summon these people that you've had past life connections with. Um, your energy is just drawing that new love to you. It's like you're in a very, you're, you're, you either are or you're on the verge of being in this very powerful um, position where you can just manifest what you want pretty easily. You're going through this, this kind of perspective shift, I feel. And you, know, you, you are divinely guided and loved and supported even if sometimes in the physical world it's hard to feel that kind of support, it's like it's kind of telling you to go inward and connect with your guides more. Oops. Um, time to rest, though. It's like a busy schedule, running on empty, like maybe just working too hard, and it's kind of like saying, you know, like just, just go easy on yourself. Just Rome wasn't built in a day kind of thing. You know, it's just like this reminder that you are doing really well. And if you look back, you're so much, you know, if you look back a few years or, or five or 10 years or um, even just a few months, you'll notice that you're, you're, you're in a better place than you were before. So it's kind of your guys are kind of telling you to go easier on yourself and be proud of yourself. And as long as you keep being true to yourself, you'll be fine. You know, because this you are having, I think that you are having fear and anxiety come up with this this moon energy. Because I think there's there's a lot of change happening in your life, and so I think it's giving you some anxiety. Um, it's kind of unfamiliar to you, but it's all good. It's it's all like you are. I feel like you guys are on the right path, even if it feels unfamiliar, or scary, or new. It's it's saying you know. Just keep it up, basically. Let me see what else I can get on love, though. That was just a reminder for a few of you. All right, so I better be specific here. <laughs> what can you tell me about this new energy that's coming in? So again, for some of you, it could be an ex that's so really changed their ways and they're coming back around. And for a lot of you, though, I think it's actually a new person. But let's see what we get. Just tell me about this new love here. Because I think that's the past. I think that vampirism is the past. It is like a codependent relationship where 
you know, like I said, you weren't able to be yourself. This could also be your person. Like maybe it's kind of telling you what they've been through that's, that makes them the way that they are. Um, but either you or your person is in the process of healing and doing shadow work right now. So this is like, this is pain, nostalgia, pur uh, purging. This is just, you know, this person is healing. Either, either you or them, they're, you're healing from this, from toxic people and family members and situations and whatever they've been through in the past. There's a lot of healing going on right now. Soul family. So this is soul recognition. This is like saying your new person is going to be somebody either will be or is, you know, depending on if you've met them yet or not. I do feel like they're in your energy field at least. So if you guys haven't met, you're on the verge of meeting. And it's saying this is someone from your soul group. So this is confirmation of a D. See, it says right here. This is These are the cards I made. So this is what I wrote. Confirmation of a deep past life timeless soul bond. So this is like a deep soul connection. This is um, someone you can be yourself with, somebody that you can trust and be vulnerable with and cry in front of and open up to. This is somebody who's going to understand you on a deep level than, than you know, these past people did, these, these vampiric type people. It's like they're going to understand you in a different way on a deeper level. You're not going to have to hide from them. That's interesting. So we've got substances here. So alcohol, drugs, um, self-destruction, sabotage, dark night of the soul. So it's really interesting because I feel like this goes along with this card right here. Okay, I feel like there's two different groups of people. So for some of you, this is you, and it's like you just went through a dark night of the soul. Maybe you didn't understand what the fuck was going on because you were just like doing drugs or you were drinking or you were um, like you had all this stuff coming up. Because I think for a lot of you, it's like you do have a lot. You are in a transition phase right now, so you do have a lot of strange energy coming up that you're not really used to. Um, and you're being challenged, again, to go inward, to dig deep, and to find out who you are and to stay true to yourself above all else. So it's kind of just saying, I think, like there's no light without darkness, you know, there's there's no love without hate, without pain. Um, you know, you, can, you can't just have the good and not have the bad too. There's, there's a mix of things. So it's kind of saying to go easy on yourself if you've just recently been through this or if you're going through that. It's like, you know, you might be going through a dark night of the soul and it might be kind of messy right now. And you might not fully understand it, but it's like, and don't, don't dive. I'm not saying dive into this. I'm not saying just go ahead and, and drink and do drugs and do whatever. But I'm just saying if things, if you feel like you're going through a transition, if this is your story and you feel like you're going through a transition and things kind of feel dark right now or they feel depressing at times, it's like, you know, trans, um, channel that energy in and make it healing for you. You know what I mean? It's like, you can't just stick a bandit on it and pretend like everything's okay you you've got to heal if you if you're if there's like an ex or not over it's like you have to heal that energy you have to heal that situation you have to be honest with yourself about how you feel you have to um you know process those emotions you you have to learn to merge the light and the darkness the good and the bad to be whole to be you know you can't just have one without the other so I think this is just like a reminder for those of you that are going through a dark night of the soul or something similar. And it's like you're just crying out of nowhere. You feel emotional and you're, you're thinking about you're healing from exes that you haven't talked to in years or you're thinking about what you went through as a child. It, it's like it's all coming up. It's purging. You're purging right now. You got to it's got to come up to be to be healed, to be heard, understood, dealt with. Um, you can't you don't want to just bury it back down and just have it resurface again later in uglier ways, you know, Um this is, I'm not a positive, if you, if you, you know, watch my channel, you know, I'm not a positive vibes only person, like, I can't stand that mentality, it's like, there's, you're going to be negative sometimes, it's part of life, it's part of being human, so go easy on yourself, be understanding and empathetic with yourself, give yourself that love, um, and that appreciation that you need to give yourself, I do also think that there's another group, so, you might be meeting the right person at a weird time in their life. So if you just met somebody and they're going through a dark night of the soul and they seem intense or dramatic or um, dark or negative, it, it might be saying, you know what, there's more to them than that, but they're just, they're, you met them at a strange t time in their life. It's kind of like that end scene in Fight Club where they're, they're holding hands and he's like, 
there's like all these explosions going on outside and he's just like you you met me at a really weird time in my life <laughs> so it's it's kind of um again two different stories here so it depends on how it, it could be you or this could be your person so if it's your person it's just kind of saying like be patient with them know that they're going through the dark night of the soul right now they're doing shadow work right now so it is kind of a strange time for them so they might be a lot darker and more negative and more um, intense and dramatic and emotional than they usually are because they're going through this purging process so as long as they're not being toxic with you like they should never their shit should just be their shit. It shouldn't ever be dragging you down. It shouldn't ever be, there shouldn't be any, um, there should never be any verbal or mental abuse when it comes to you. You know what I mean? Like if they're going through something, that's fine, but they should never be dragging you down or putting you down because of what they're going through, if that makes sense. So it's like, it's saying basically, if you met a really good person who's just going through the dark night of the soul, it's saying be patient with them, be understanding. Um, realize that there's probably a lot, if it's like a new person, realize that you might have just met them at a strange time in their life and that there's probably a lot more to them than what you see. Um, but again, with that being said, still set boundaries. Don't let them, you know what I mean? It's like be patient understanding, but don't let them... Uh, that doesn't go for toxic people, though. You know what I mean? Like, you should be able to intuitively feel if this is a good person who is going through some shit or if this is just, like, a negative person. Like, you should be able to kind of feel it out and know the difference and make sure you keep your boundaries up. But this is somebody that you can be open with. You know what I mean? Like, this is actually, for, for, for you guys, I feel like this is a good person that, um, you know, could be from your soul group and it, it this could be a past life connection. This is a very deep, emotional, vulnerable um connection that can be explored here so it really is good energy and with scrying here it's they could be watching because it says spying and being spied on so i mean maybe this is somebody on your social media and they're kind of like watching you seeing what you're about you're seeing what they're about um so yeah but it's 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 overall it's really good it's it's really um i think that you guys will actually help each other heal quite a bit i feel like there's that that possibility there that you guys will just connect once you really start getting to know each other and opening up to each other and talking. I feel like you guys, I feel like it could be a very healing and very deep, very romantic relationship if you guys both allow that. So let me see if I can get a couple more cards. It's really quick. A few more cards, actually. Okay, spiritual. Okay, so I got the same cards again. Never mind. <laughs> Clear path. Yeah, um, obstacles are being removed, you know, new love, new circumstances. Is there anything else? So I feel like it's still, like, developing, so that could be why there's not much else to say, because it's kind of like, let things flow naturally kind of energy, but let's see. Mm. This person could be a spiritual leader. So psychic chains and blocks. I feel like they're just not, honestly, I feel like they're probably just not going to tell me anything else is the main, because I didn't feel, I wasn't feeling those cards. I feel like they're just not going to tell me much else because um, they want you guys to just let this flow naturally. They don't want you, you know, cancers can get kind of emotional, so they don't want you to overthink things. They don't want you to, um, to block yourself, you know what I mean? They want you to open your heart to the people and the situations that are right for you, and they want you to do it in a very natural, smooth way, not, um, I think that they know, I think your guides know that you can get afraid, that you can get scared, and you can get in your head, and you can start doubting yourself and doubting the people around you, so I think your guides are kind of, like, saying, like, just let things, like, this really is there really is, you know, a strong connection here. There is a deep, emotional, vulnerable connection here. There is something really good here. Um, so don't get in your own way, basically. Don't get in your own way. Just let things flow naturally. So thank you guys for watching. If it resonates, please um, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.